So recently, I started investing my money into cryptocurrencies and I'm not pretty much sure whether it was a good decision or not. But what happened after I started investing is I was always curious to know about whether my investment gave me some positive return or not. And for that, I was always on the phone, always wanting the prices of that particular uh, cryptocurrencies. In the meantime, a company sent me this e-paper display based on ESP32 board. So a thought came in my mind, why not to make a live cryptocurrency monitoring project out of this display so in this video i'll let you know how to make that project using this display and if you don't have this display don't worry you can still make that project using the regular esp32 board that you have with you let's get started with this video so after the thought now is the time to decide the hardware for this project in my case the hardware was pretty clear that was this board because this is kind of a complete board let me make you introduce with this board. So, first of all, this board is sent to me by one company called as Liligo from China. So, as soon as I open the box, I get first of all this card, and under the card, here is our e paper display. And well, this is not just an e paper display, well, it has built in ESP32 chip in it. That means this display already has the power of Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and dual code processor and everything, okay? That's not it. Along with the ESP32 chip, this particular device also has the battery connector in which you can connect your 18650 battery. After that, you can power up this board as well as charge those battery with the help of the Type-C cable which comes along with the box of course. Straight after that, it also has couple of buttons to take the input and well this board also offers couple of GPIO pins so that we can connect our sensors or modules stuff like that. And this board has also a option of connecting a touch screen panel on it. Yes, we can connect a touch panel on it and make a touch screen based project of this display. Well, I also ordered a touch panel recently, so uh, it will be delivered me soon and in future I'll definitely make a video for that as well. So in case if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So with this device, my hardware requirement was completely fulfilled. Now if you're also interested in getting this display, you can get it from Liligo, the link is in the description. Now in this video, I'm obviously going to make the project out of this device, but in case if you don't have this display, what you can do is, you can upload the code onto your ESP32 board and you will be able to observe the cryptocurrency price onto the serial monitor. And later on, what you can do is, you can connect any of the displays that you have along with the ESP32 board, tweak the code a bit and you can also make your own project for displaying the cryptocurrency prices. So that was it about the hardware. Now, before jumping into the coding part, let's first thank the sponsor of this video. So I'd like to thank LTM for sponsoring this video. So LTM is a PCB designer based software company and that company don't make just another software. That company makes some really good or we can say professional PCB designing software. Now their softwares are not only used by educators and makers, but their softwares are also being used already into some big tech companies in the market. Okay. So now if you're thinking of making your career into this electronics, embedded and the circuit designing and PCB designing kind of stuff, I'll recommend you to definitely try out this software. Now you don't need to purchase this software for at the first time. You can go ahead and try out the free trial version of the software. Yes, by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM PCB designer software. So yeah, that was all about the LTM software. Now let us start with the coding part of the project. So before going to my code, first of all, I'd like to give a big shout out to these two guys whose code I have you know, taken for my reference purpose and based on their code, I made my own code, okay? So I'll leave the link for this GitHub page in the description of this video, okay? Moving ahead with the code, so here's the code which will display the price of the cryptocurrencies onto this e-paper display. Now, this is kind of a complex code because this code has all the uh, you know, logic for getting those uh, cryptocurrency prices as well as displaying it onto the e-paper display. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll you know open on another code in which it will get the cryptocurrency price and it will straight away print that uh, price into the serial monitor. Now that will be much easier for you to understand and for me to explain as well. So I'll open up that code as well. Okay, so here is that code. So first of all, all the necessary libraries are declared here. Now one important thing which I want to tell you is the, all the like prices of the cryptocurrencies are taken from this website called as coingecko.com. I'll open up that website. So here is the website from which we will be fetching the data of all the cryptocurrency, okay? 
Straight after that, you need to provide the SID name and password because this device do require internet connectivity to for fetching the data. Okay. Straight after that, here you have to define in which uh, what we can say currency you want to fetch the data. As you can see in the website, here we can select different different currency uh, in which we want to our data to be displayed. Okay. In my case, as I'm from India and in India we have the currency called as Indian rupees. That means INR. That's why I have selected INR here as well, and I have mentioned INR here as well. Okay. So this is. Really Really very important after that what you have to do is you have to go to this crypto dot h and here you have to mention which like which cryptocurrency you are interested in okay as of now i have mentioned the name of four cryptocurrencies bitcoin ethereum dogecoin and tether okay so these are the four currencies whose data i'm interested in in case you want to uh, add more currencies what you can do is you can go to the this uh, what you can say this website Okay, for example, if you're interested in getting the data of, uh, let's say, Bitcoin Cash, okay, so I'll open this Bitcoin Cash page. So after opening that page, just go to its link and here you just need to copy the last word of the link. In my case, it is Bitcoin hyphen cash. Okay. After copying that, you just need to go to the Arduino here, just press enter, make a curly braces, make double inverted commas and paste that word here. Close the double inverted comma, close the curly braces, add a, co a comma and you're good to go to fetch the data of Bitcoin cash cryptocurrency as well. Okay. So this is how you can add new cryptocurrencies and you can also remove any of the crypto currency we are not at all interested in okay in my case let's just keep it for as of now straight after that uh in the uh, like main code you don't need to change anything uh, all the data will be displayed uh by using this particular code okay so that was all about what changes you have to make inside the code after that just press the upload button okay so code is successfully uploaded i'll open the serial monitor and i'll press this auto scroll as you can see it got connected to wi-fi and uh, okay so it successfully downloaded the data like all the data into this ESP board and as you can see it also started uh, like displaying the data one by one okay so what first of all it displayed the data of bitcoin after that ethereum and after that the dogecoin so new data is displayed after every five seconds which is defined here okay so you can change the delay by changing this number okay so like now let's see what kind of data we are getting inside it uh, if i stop this auto scroll uh, let's go to the top. So here is the Bitcoin. So first of all, it will be get displaying the data of uh, Bitcoin in Indian rupees. It's day change, like how much change this currency had in this day, like in 24 hours and how much uh, like price variation this currency had within seven days is also displayed into the week change. Okay. After that, it also displays the price in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay. Similarly, the same kind of data will be getting for Ethereum, for uh, Dogecoin, for tether and for the bitcoin cash that we have added into the code okay so that you can get the data on the sale monitor and now let us move on to the next code in which we want to display the data onto this e-paper display okay let me just uh, go through that code as well so here is that code so to use this code you first of all need to have a couple of libraries uh, for that you have to go to uh, this github page okay i'll add the link for this as well as in the description you just need to download the zip file of this uh, particular uh, library and after that you have to install that library onto this arduino ide okay after doing that you will be able to use this display okay straight after that uh, the code is pretty much same like uh, the necessary data for using the ea paper display is added to the code rather than the code is exactly the same okay so we'll be getting the cryptocurrency data of uh, these many cryptocurrencies so i have put four here because i have investment money in these four uh, cryptocurrencies only okay you can also increase or decrease the cryptocurrency uh, here the, in the same way which i taught you in the like previous code okay so yeah that being said now we have to upload this code so to upload this code onto this device you first need to select this board as espc to dev board and here you have to enable the psram okay after doing these two steps you can press the upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded now let us observe are we getting the data onto e-paper display or not let us find out as you can see, we have started receiving the data onto the e-paper display and one by one it is printing the data of all the currencies that we have uh, entered into the code, okay? So it is printing the price, its day change, its week change, everything it displayed onto this e-paper display, okay? And after every five seconds, I'll be getting a new data on it. As you can see, uh, I got a new data and have you observed it carefully? Only those portion where the price is mentioned is updated because I have used the partial update method in this display, okay? So in partial update method, what happens is the whole display doesn't get updated every time. 
only the required area where we uh, think the price will change we are updating those areas only with this we can save a little bit battery as well okay so i use the partial update method in this particular project and yeah our project is working and this project will also work when you insert a 18650 battery uh, just behind it okay as you can see as i inserted the battery the project still works as expected so yeah, that was it about my project of monitoring the live cryptocurrency prices onto the e-paper display using the ESP32 board. And you can also make this project way more smaller by using the smaller displays like OLED display, attach it to the ESP32 board and make the project by yourself. So yeah, that's it. Now let me know how many of my subscribers are already like started investing in cryptocurrencies. Uh, have you started investing? If it's so, do let me know in the comments. I'm really excited to know how many of you have started investing. And also let me know, will you ever be trying this project by yourself? Maybe in future, let me know in the comment. And if you like this project, if you got to learn something new from it, you already know please like the video please like it that will definitely motivate us to make more such interesting project just for you guys that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore learn share with me techie sms